y'all and welcome to this thimble bell tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a bobble stitch and I figured the best way to do that is to share a cute little pattern that incorporates bobble stitches. For this pattern you need to have a foundation chain that's a multiple of 6 plus 3. So for this tutorial my foundation chain is 9 chains long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We never count the one that's on our hook. To start, I'm going to skip the first three chains, one, two, three, and double crochet into the fourth chain. The three that we skipped will also count as a double crochet. Now I'm going to double crochet in the remaining chains on this row, which should give me seven, including the three that we skipped. So here's number three. Four, five, six, and seven. Then we need to do three turning chains. One, two, three, and turn the work. These will count as our first double crochet on this row. Now we're ready to do a bobble. To do a bobble, we yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, leaving two loops on our hook. We're going to keep doing this in the same stitch until we have six loops on our hook. Three loops, four loops, five loops, and six loops. Now we're going to yarn over, pull through all the loops, and that'll create our bobble. So if you turn it over, you see the little bump. Isn't it cute? All right, to continue with the pattern, we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then a bobble in the next one. There's two loops. Three loops. Four loops. five loops, and six loops. Yarn over, pull through all the loops, and there's our second bobble. Double crochet into the next stitch, and this will be our last bobble on this row. Two loops, three loops, four loops, five loops, and six loops. Yarn over, pull through all the loops, and then in those three turning chains we're going to do a double crochet into the center of those, which will complete this row. We'll do three turning chains, one, two, and three, then turn the work, and now you can see the bobbles really good. This is how the pattern will go. You'll have a row of double crochets, then a row of bobbles, and when you're ready to end the work, all you got to do is another row of double crochets on top, so it'll match the bottom, and it should be the same number. I started with seven, so I should end with seven. So here's the first one. Two, three, four, five, 
five. Six. And the seventh will go into the chain three space. And there you have it folks, there's a cute little pattern and how to do a bobble stitch. If you keep going, you'll end up with something like this. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial and if so, please visit the website www.thimblebell.com or subscribe to the channel for more helpful ideas. Thank you so much for watching.